Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, bulk the farthest frontier. Welcome back to Farthest Frontier. This has to be, I think, one of my absolute all-time favorites. City building survival settlement survival management games. How do you describe it? It's a city builder, but it's set in Renaissance, medieval times, I guess. And it's it's pretty savage. <laughs> It can be pretty savage. Uh, and to make matters worse, I play on some seriously stupidly hard difficulty levels just to make my life miserable and yours entertaining. So um, join me as we start a brand new settlement because they have updated to version 9.1 and they have introduced a huge number of changes since I last did a series in Farthest Frontier. Um, but I'm looking forward to this and I hope you guys are looking forward to joining me for this as well. We're gonna bring a new settlement into life yeah, now typically I go on to vanquish a difficulty. We can see that we start with next to no resources. The wildlife sucks. We have lots of hostile forces and disease is, is rampant. Um, we can we can randomize the name here or we can choose our own name. We can go to Spangetopia because <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> uh, I'll leave the map size on medium and the terrain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go random here, okay? Normally what I do is I'd go Arid Highlands. Arid Highlands is an interesting one because basically it's infertile soil, the landscape sucks, there's barely any like um, foraging to be done, and yeah, just yada 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 yada, just super difficult, super hard. So uh, the other one that's quite difficult is Alpine Valleys, and again, that's more of a terrain issue. The soil's reasonably fertile, there's plenty of foraging to do, it's just difficult to build there. But on the difficulty levels that I've chosen, I think random is going to be the most interesting here because uh you know we can we don't know what we're gonna get <laughs> so trailblazing resources um i don't know why it sets it on to trailblazer after i just set set it to vanquisher but we're going to customize the difficulty levels you can see here exactly what you get right so initial village account 12 months of food 11 yada yada yada, yada. So if we go to Vanquisher level supplies, we only get 10 villagers. We only have three months of food, four weapons, three bows, 80 arrows, and 15 tools. Not a lot. Um, mal mal maladies is kind of like events that happen, like so sickness and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to leave maladies on to Trailblazer because if I put it on Vanquisher, then basically the 10 villagers that we have will reduce to about five after the first winter, and then we'll be just stuck and we won't get anywhere. Wildlife, again, I'm going to leave on Trailblazer as well because um, just the kind of, in other words, you just get constant wolf attacks, right? And it's just not fun, right? So I'm going to set the raiders onto Vanquisher. So this means that organized groups of elite raiders have been seen in the area and have been known to attack with reckless abandon, seeking glory on the battlefield. And the local lords in the area are particularly brutal. Do not take kindly to those that would squat on their lands. Do not expect your presence to go unnoticed. So yes, between bandits and actual full-blown freaking organized assaults from lords it's uh it gets a bit gnarly right so that's our map seed so if you want to create the same map as me uh take down that number and you will get the same map although you know you'll have to wait and see what actually what actual terrain we actually get i'm really hoping for idyllic valley i don't know <laughs> it's arid highlands i don't know anyway i'm gonna go skip this because it's yeah i think we're in or i think we're in alpines i think we're in alpines uh, survey the land the villages have explored chosen promising sites to construct your town center it's important to choose a location that's near resources you'll need to build a successful settlement things like clay iron and potential food sources okay so oh my god look at this mountain that's fantastic we should build minas tirith <laughs> yeah, look at this beautiful beast uh so let's have a look we've got iron for days in this thing iron 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 infinite iron as well so these big rocks are infinite rocks as well so one of the problems that of the version that I lasted a series on was the fact that resources would ultimately deplete. Um, so towards the end of your settlement, you just run out of everything and then you go bankrupt because you can like keep up with trade and stuff. But there is a beautiful gold deposit there. Very rich gold deposit. That's lovely. Um, infinite stone, infinite iron. I mean, this this mountain has to be exploited. We, we Basically, we're going to build Moria. Okay, there's a wolf den there. So we don't want to build anywhere near that, really, which is a shame because... That is some beautifully fertile land. Uh, so let's have a little look around here. Uh, we've got a lake over here, which is great because that could be fishing. I mean, this spot right here, I'm, I'm thinking instantly. I'm like, yes, you've got fertile lands either side. Is this, is this, um, this isn't plains. Are we sure this is alpine? I'm not sure it is alpine, actually. 
There's a bandit camp, look. Bandit camp right there. There's lots of fertile land. So I think this might be valleys. I think this might be valleys. Oh, look at that. Another bandit camp there. And a huge bit of water. Of course, we say everywhere near that bandit camp is just going to attack us constantly. But look how fertile this land is. This is beautiful and flat and fucking marvellous. Okay, we don't want to be too far away from the mountain because we want to exploit this sucker. Um, where's that gold deposit? Where is that gold? Uh, gold, 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 gold. It's on this side. The gold is on this side where we have the least vision out. Okay, a little further away from the water than I intended, but um, I think this is a good location as any. We are basically just off of where they suggested. We've got a wolf thing over there. Then we've got a wolf thing over there. We've got boars down here. We've got a bandit camp off over there somewhere. So we are surrounded by nonsense. But we should get a lot of decent wood here. We can set up my um, ideal defense structure. I think these rocks are going to be in the way. But we need them anyway for stone. So let's plop it here and let's go. All right, here they go. So they should start straight away by chopping down these trees. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to disable stones for now. Mark trees on the harvest tool here. And then just drag a big box around the area. Okay, that is basically the entire forest, is it? I mean, that should keep them busy for a while. They're not going to be out of work there, are they? The F is for fertility. We can see the fertility rating. I've placed uh, the town and the town center here in a moderately fertile spot. Um, we have a spot over here where we can sort of divert our industry area and our undesirable sectors and we can expand over here for farming and hunting and housing and stuff like that so we want to head this direction as well for um fishing at some point but we'll worry about that another time right now we should be able to sustain ourselves on foraging and hunting alone uh, until we get enough people that we can start getting some farms organized right i'm just going to build a road around the encampment here and I'm also going to build a road directly down. Another one directly across. Uh, not into that rock though, otherwise they'll want to mine it. And because the uh, it's an even number of squares, the size of the, the town center there, it's a little triggering. But we'll do our best. And we'll do a road directly up as well. Uh, and this is just a template that I use in order to build my my defensive structure around the town hall here. So now we just have to kind of wait until they've finished chopping these trees. So we'll just do a little speedy uppy. Um, once they finish chopping these trees, we can get on with everything else. While they're doing that, though, what we can do is we can get on with designing the road that goes around. This is kind of like how I figure out the defenses. Basically, on Vanquisher, we're going to get attacked pretty early on. Uh, basically, in year two, I think we get our first attack or thereabouts. Uh, the bandits generally go for storage type buildings. Uh, buildings with valuables in it, food, stuff like that. So... The town hall and storage buildings, I focus all in the middle, and then I build a wall just around those. Everything else goes outside the wall that they don't uh, they don't really um, attack. Hang on a second, we got a we got a predator, so we're gonna get all of our villagers. Oh god, I can't see him. There he is, the mangy wolf, mangy wolf. Except we're gonna get this guy, who's being attacked, to run away, because as long as he's running away, the wolf will have a harder time hitting him. And there we go, wolf dealt with. Okay, there you go. Good job, good job, good job. Uh, what was they saying? Right, yes. So they attack things that, that you, you could you use it against them, basically. One, two, three, four, which is the size of your average kind of storage building, trade building, that sort of thing. Five for the wall itself, six for the outer road. Okay, so we'll just drag that out in a straight line like that. And then we'll do the same on all sides. And there we go, we have something a bit like that. The wall will follow the road, we'll have a tower on each corner as well, and then the key buildings will be the inside. And we'll place them in such a way that hopefully the houses that we build around the wall here and so on and so forth will uh, get the benefit from things like markets and healing houses and stuff like that, that that increase desirability, which is important later. Bingo! We have our town hall up. And then we have a bit of a vision around here. Right, let's get some houses going then. This is where we can basically do everything else. Uh, let's not put a house right there. Let's put a forage right there. Housing shortage. I know, I know, I know. Is it this this rock? Is there 32 rock in there? It'll take them half a year to dig that out right now. We need to wait until we have much more people. We need to get some food production sorted. So we're going to get a hunter cabin here to, uh, to take on these deer. I place a hunter cabin there. I place a forager shack as well. Oh, I was going to put one here, but actually maybe that's not great. But a forager shack, I think, needs to go over here. Yeah, to about there. Again, we don't really want to be effing with these rocks right now. 
that's 18 it's not so bad but yeah that road needs to go through that rock so we need to dig it up at some point infinite clay there as well which will be much later on in the game we might just have to ignore it for now uh we do need a well 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 that's under resources and you stick that in a nice area where there's lots of water this patch around this rock is a good one we'll plop that there Hunter is in, so our food source for the time being is squared away. We'll put his work area over this uh, patch of deer here. We might need to monitor that because obviously if he hunts them to extinction, then we'll uh, hopefully avoid that, first of all. Uh, but we'll also have to move him later. And the forager's hut, we're going to move their work area to this. Uh, oh, let's get those greens involved as well. This area here. The thing with the foragers early on is worth micromanaging them for a few years because you can move them. They'll get through that spot in spring. They'll be done with that. So you can move them to another spot and then another spot throughout the year until they're all done. So with one forager hut, you can actually get quite a lot done, but you do have to micromanage them. Uh, anyway, you can see the well requires stone. So we will need to get them to mine stone. And let's get them on this one. Let's prioritize this rock here so that we can get this road going. There's 18 stone in that, so you can see all these guys are complaining they don't have... Um, more people want to join I get four months food supply, of which I have zero, and six houses. Uh, I have six houses lined up, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I need a sixth house! All right, let's get a sixth house lined up. Let's just put him here. We'll put him here for now, because uh, of the well. Right now, we have to kind of pick our battles when it comes to what we can actually supply. Now, the next thing they're complaining about is firewood. <laughs> We're in trouble here, because actually firewood is very important. Um to have in in vast quantities before winter <laughs> so uh, uh, we're here in a bit of a bit of a uh, bit of a poop situation a uh, we do need a, a yard as well we'll put the yard there because our industry is going to be built over here around through the trees and stuff right so put a yard there that will i mean all these trees are already marked for destruction anyway prioritize um the wood choppy choppy place that's the official title the choppy choppy place. And chop chop, yeah? Chop chop! Build sites need resources, but none have been selected for harvest. I'm sorry, what? I know how to harvest resources. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. Is that stone not... Oh. <laughs> Fair enough, game. That's on me. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> you saw nothing. You saw nothing. I know that my hunter is hunting and gathering meat. He appears to have produced no meat. Do they not work if they don't have firewood? Yeah, butchering meat. Okay, good. So we will have... Hello, we've got two months of food. Look at that. Bingo. The forager. Bringing in the cabbages. Good lad. Impending blizzard. I've got no wood choppy choppy place. Uh-oh. Can we... Can we do this? Please. Is marked as priority. There is wood everywhere. There is wood everywhere. Everywhere. Guys. Guys, I, 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 I don't understand. Okay, so, uh, okay, it's building, it's building, it's finally building. Yeah, 15, it's built. Get two people on it, now, go! Unable to work, shut up. Idling. Bitch, please. Are you seeing this right now? Have you looked out a window? Seeking shelter. Goodo, goodo, goodo. You seek shelter in your unheated shack. <laughs> They're all gonna die. <laughs> They're all gonna die! <laughs> It took too long. It took too long to clear the trees for the for the town hall. I knew it was going to be a problem, but I was like, ah, we'll probably be all right. We'll make it, right? Look at that road. Look at that road. That is some wiggly ass bullshit road right there. What is this? Be gone. Be gone, road. You are in error. All right, build that there. Then this one through the stump. There we go. Oh, look at that magic. The stump away. Good job. Uh, could you all go out and chop wood now, please? Thank you. And, and stone, mine the stone for the well as well. Well, well. Doomed, mate. Doomed. Their warmth is 22%. <laughs> oh boy. He's got a hide coat on. Linen and shoes. Um, and he's eating berries, probably. 22, 21%. This is, this is bad. I don't know what level it goes down to. Uh, oh. And then they and then they just they perish. 39%. He's alright. How is he at 19? Oh Christ. Neria! Neria! Gonna die. Probably. Is the blizzard over now? Can we all go out of our homes and get back to work? 
It'll warm you up. Get chopping. Warm you right up. That will. The ground is literally thawing right now and they're still hiding. Congratulations, everybody. You survived somehow the year two without firewood. I mean, our forager came out of hiding for the briefest of seconds and then went, <laughs> F this, I'm going inside. <laughs> Seeking shelter. Still 17% warm. 18%. Okay, they're warming up. Guys, it's a beautiful spring morning. The bluebells are out. There are butterflies in the air. Oh, oh, oh. People, they're outside. They, they, they're taking meat from the hunter. They, they, they got, they're hungry. That's what. They, they got hungry. They went outside. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody is doing some work. You're building a house that nobody is living in. I mean, we have 24 housing capacity and 10. He's hunting. Oh my god, it's all coming back to life. Chop fucking firewood. Chop fucking firewood. That is... So three... So they went into shit hiding about... Yeah, one, two, three, four, four and a half months. They just sat inside. For four and a half months. Villager stricken with dehydration. Really? Maybe you should build that. Here's, here's a thought. Mine that, build that. It's all lined up. You guys just have to make the right decisions. I can't do it for you. Your village has been stricken with a plague of dumb. I don't know what the prioritization does, uh, but it doesn't seem to actually do anything. They're all just chopping trees that are on roads. They're, they're just chopping the, the road trees down. We must clear the forests. We're all dying of thirst. There's a well you can build. Yeah, no, 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 no. We've got to build a road first. Come on. Don't be don't be stupid. Yeah, go ahead and bring me the world of villagers. I might have some more bloody laborers then that can actually build a well. A villager has died. Good timing. We need it, we need it, we need a 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 graveyard. We need a graveyard now. Because they kept dying. Build the goddamn well! Where's Mr. Beast when you need him? <laughs> we have a well. Excellent. Now drink, my thirsty villagers. Drink. Drink, my moronic peasants. I shall guide you to victory. We've only had a few people die. Fine. Look, we have two. We have as many people cured as we have died. This is... We are... We're breaking even. This is the turning point of good things. Anyway, now get better work. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful cacophony of chop, chop, choppity, chop, chop, chop. Impending blizzard. But this time I have 150 firewood. <laughs> Bring it, blizzard. Wait, does that mean we're in winter again already? Holy crap, where did that year go? We have a graveyard and we have a storage stockyard now as well. Hopefully all this wood that's lying around will now eventually wake its way in there and they have a centralized place where they can access wood for the choppy, choppy place. And the person who died, died in the choppy, choppy place. Choppy, choppying. Can somebody put him in there, please? Good job. There we go. We... I see dead people. Three? When did we lose three? I thought we only lost two. Crap. Alright. We've definitely lost more than we cured. But that's okay. Because a blizzard's coming, and this is a good omen. Notice in this blizzard, they all carry on working. I guess because they've got firewood, so they can go and warm up. Alright, we definitely need to up our food production at the moment, because even with, with just one hunter cabin and one forager, it just isn't kind of... Uh, which no one was surprised to hear, to be honest. We need a we need a fishing shack. They're gonna place a fishing shack here. I'm a bit in the dark about where that is down there, but um, that should be all right. We'll need a well down there as well because they basically live there all year. Um, so put a well right next to it. Um, we could probably put a house there as well, but then they're pretty far away from town. Um, let's put a house right there. And he's just got a little road to walk down until he's in the right area. I need to put some exploration over here as well. There we go. I think that's the water there. So get on with that, guys. We need to up our food production. All right, Mr. Forager, get foraging. Forage. God damn it. Forage like your life depends on it. And who died? We got another death. We got another death. Uh, killed by predators. Damn it. With the wolves. All right, we're doing wood on firewood now. Firewood is excellent now, guys. Well done. All right, fishing shack is up. Fishing is on. All right, so they're producing 40 fish area plus 40%. 668 fish in that area. 140% productivity. Good. 
Good, 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 good. We do need to now build, though. Uh, we need to build food storage, right? Because we can't have that stored in in where we're storing it. So we know that uh, the farms are going to be down there. So if I build... They take 20 stone each, actually. So let's get, let's get some more rocks cleared here. Our forager is foraging. Our hunter is huntering. He's got two deer um, sites here. So he should be able to get plenty of food. But I'm wondering about setting up a second hunter thing to go in after the boars as well. It's dangerous, though. They fight back. Oh, we need to start thinking about upgrading our town hall. So we need 30 people at 20... Uh, sorry, we're at 16 at the moment. So we've got a little ways to go. 30 stones, 60 planks in a market, and 8 houses, uh, which we only have 6. 7? Yeah, 7. What? We've got 5 labourers now, so we really, like... This is this is where we... There's a bit of a, a struggle at this part of the game between labourers and actually progression. So we need to progress technologically which requires building things like saw pit, right? Unlocks the next kind of tier of, of stuff. So we could put a saw pit there. Yeah, put one there. It takes, takes a few trees down, but that'd be okay. We need the wood. The saw and the, the wood planks obviously unlock a whole another slew of buildings, but that saw pit will take two laborers away from our laborer total. Um, it's the same with farming. If we were to actually start plotting fields down right now, then all, all of our laborers would disappear. They'd become farmers. <laughs> and we'd have no one chopping trees or anything, so... You have to wait until, basically, you have a population that can no longer be sustained by fish hunting and foraging, and you're on the brink of starvation. Then you should have enough people to run for hunts. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Right, so you see here, it's uh, midsummer. Uh, our forager has finished foraging that entire area. So we have to now move him, or we can now move him, I should say, to a new area. Um, and here he is. He'll sit idle and it'll work basically, and it'll sit there going, nah, 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 nah. if you move into an area, you can go and farm all these greens over here now. And when he's done with that, we can maybe move uh, move them over here. It's like I said, it's just a bit of micromanagement until you have like enough people where you can set up multiple foragers to cover multiple areas, and then you can just let them be idle essentially. Uh, of course, our forager is under attack. You need to run, mate. You need to just run. Oh god, it's getting him. Uh, we need some villagers. We have some villagers. We have more villagers than that. Oh, they're all over here. Okay. Uh, is he going to make it home? These are the questions. Oh, half health. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, sound the bell. Keep running. You're nearly home. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, fuck, he died. Poor oh, bugger. He's bleeding out. Well, we don't have a healer yet. We haven't got that tech. Ouch. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, there's a wolf thingy right here. Look. So. And all the Hawthorns have come in. <laughs> Waited like a month. The building is on fire. Brilliant. This is going well. <laughs> fire. Everybody. To the well. Get buckets of water and put it out. I do love their response to a fire, though. They all just jump on it and just charge straight into the flames. Absolute boss it. Um, and, then you, and then she gets soaring some some air. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you saw that air. You tell that air. Show it. Oh, sweet. Two new villagers emigrated and a villager born as well. Brilliant. Who's our little baby? Kimon. Oh, for crying out loud. Why did you go that far for? I'm going to change the area. Oh, God. It's this... Why was he outside? He was too close to the walls, man. He's going to get eaten. I mean, it's just send villagers to save him. This time. No, 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 no. The other way round. Other way round. What are you doing? Ah. Go, 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 go. Save Gustav. Save him. We didn't save the other guy, but you can save Gustav. He's going to die. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get the wolf. Yes. He lives. Gustav Le... Wait, that's Kester. What the hell? Builder? Why was... Why was... Ke what? Why was he over here? What are you doing? Are you, are you Gustav? Mat Matrada. What, what is going on? Why are you going this way? What the? 
All right, we have a saw pit. So we have some plank production. It means we can now make Fletcher building, which is important for arrow production. And a night saw collector, which is important for um, sanitation. Takes the poop away. And winter is back again. The years just fly by this early game. We are very fortunate so far to not be attacked. I need to get the town hall to level two so that I can build defenses. So I used to um, put up stone fences, but they've now been moved to tier two. That's the same as Palisades. Now, I could put up stick fences, but they have basically no freaking uh, durability at all. Like one or two hits and the, the raiders are through, which might be the difference between life or death, I suppose. But at this point, I think we could probably make it to tier two town hall with 60 planks and 30 rock before that becomes a problem. Anyway, um, we just need a storehouse and we can unlock a market. So we're going to place that there opposite our food storage there. So we have a storage there. We have storage here as well. And there we go. we got a Fletcher building. Now, the Fletcher will build arrows and bows. But I'm going to set them to a four to one arrow basis because we don't need that many bows at the moment. Uh, we definitely need more arrows for the hunters to continue doing their thing. We still have two bows and 40 arrows in stock. And that means we're down to seven laborers. we got to keep that balance, you know? Oh, fuck. That's a bear. Oh, that's a bear. Ringeth the bell. Everybody inside now. It inside where are you going he's going in his house go inside in the thing use the town hall use the arrows in the town hall my god that one hit took half of his health off get the hunters attacking all right get him get him get him get him getting him nice work very good bear attack dealt with year number four still no attack from raiders we're doing well actually <laughs> despite the problems with you know settling in the middle of a forest we're doing pretty well yeah ball of lightning just hit our sawmill and that is losing health rapidly. Uh, the well is quite far away. Oh, well done, guys. They did it. <laughs> Ooh. Um, that may require another well nearby. So that's the well. Uh, maybe we can put one up over here as well. Yeah, as well. Eh, eh, eh. No? Just me? All right. Suit yourselves. I got a bit of smokehouse. Smokehouse, as the name suggests, smokes meat and stuff. I don't want it to be too far away from here so that he's got a quick quick trip to the uh, the food storage area, but I don't want it to be anywhere near the houses and stuff because smoke. So I'm going to build him next to the Fletcher building over here. So that will be another laborer will be out of. Oh, that's new. Right, so the night soil agent requires a salary. I suppose that makes sense. Nobody wants to go handling poop for free. Four gold a month. Now, normally, um, okay, so we we need we need a market then, uh, n yeah, because you will get certain taxes from the market a year. Uh, let's see, we want to put this so it's as as good as possible. I don't want to get in the way of that corner. That corner square right there is where the tower will go. And that has pretty good circumference there, right? So let's put the market there. I could build a road to the tower where the tower will be like that, you see, and then the tower will go there. We can actually build that tower. We won't be able to until we have the gold, of course, because it requires 50 gold to build. But um, just to show you what I mean, so there'll be a tower on each corner. And that should keep them, you know, the raiders at bay for a little while. Then obviously we can build another more fortified wall around the larger settlement later on. Ultimately, this compound will be full and we will need to build valuable buildings like storehouses and food things further away where actual food production facilities are. When we get farming over here, for example, um, that that will require either small outpost fortresses, like satellite fortresses around, which are much cheaper, obviously, or we build a much larger fortification around the whole place, which is kind of like the ultimate goal. That will require a lot of stone. Uh, so we will need to be tech four, I think, to really realistically do that. And during that journey, we're going to attack so many times anyway. But uh, we've done well. I mean, year year four, still still no attack on Vanquish a difficulty level. It's very unusual. I would have thought we would have had something by now. But perhaps uh, because we don't have any defenses yet, the game maybe is giving us a little bit more of a chance. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to jinx it, question it, I look a gift horse in the face. But yeah, so far so good. I figure as well, um, we're entering winter with so little food. That's odd. We have enough firewood, but I'm not sure we have enough food to get through. But um, there's still some greens to harvest out there. So 
Yeah, I'll get on it. Get on it, dude. Vegetables and such. The uh, fishery and the hunting has not been great this year. Items reduced, 204. He's out of arrows. Items reduced, 410. Two months of food. I hope they can produce more fish and and, and meat, because otherwise we're going to be starving. At the, in the height of winter, literally. We're in the height of winter. We're going to be starving. Get a shelter, everyone. This is going to be a rough one. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching uh, this beginning episode of a brand new series of Farthest Frontier. I hope you enjoyed, and... Hopefully I will see you for the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.